Everything truly started its descent when the so-called Death Curse emerged from the jungles of Chulk. Faerun's most notable heroes and affluent nobles ran. Those who didn't flee to another plane of existence fell victim to the curse. With no one to save it, the world started to splinter. All of ice, wind, dale froze solid, claimed by Oral the Frost Maiden. We lost the cities of Baldur's Gate and El Turel as they were dragged into the Nine Hells. In an act of desperation, people turned to the cult of the dragon for answers. The ritual was successful, and Tiamat, the queen of chaos and dragons, took her first flight into the skies of the Sword Coast, raining down. When the Soulmonger was emptied, Vecna, the Whispered One, the Arch Lich, had a massive power boost. Countless fell to Vecna's hand, and those who remained willingly joined him, including the shrewd Gentarim and dozens of liches. It's now the year 1500. The turn of the century would usually be cause for celebration, but few find much joy in it. So there you have it, a brief summary of events. This is the darkest the Sword Coast has ever been, and it's wholly doomed, but perhaps just maybe things can change for the better.